Hello and welcome to another episode of Yule Acres. Today we're going to be continuing on with our beekeeping discussion and we're going to be talking about three more tools that are not necessary to do beekeeping but will help you to be more successful. Let's get started. When you're getting started with beekeeping, there's so many different tools available, so many different items that you can spend your money on, and when you're dealing with a budget, it can be very difficult to try and decide what items do I want to focus on to get my money's worth. Now there's items that are necessary to have, and there are other items that are not necessary, but make your life a little bit easier. The list today that we're going through are going to be some of those items. The first item on our list is kind of gets into that necessary category, but not necessary. And it's a very gray line. But what that includes is having hive parts, your bottom board, your super, your hive frames, inner cover, top cover. It is necessary to have this equipment or some sort of a house, whether you're doing long, long bar hives, skeps, lung trough hive, universal hive systems, whatever your chosen desire is, you need some sort of a house for your bees to live in, some sort of a shelter. Now where it comes into, is it necessary or not to do things is, are you going to get prefabricated materials that you can go to the store and just buy already pre-assembled boxes, pre-assembled frames, or do you want to purchase your own kits to make it to do it your own? That's where the necessary versus not comes in. Are you going to go ahead and do your own kits to have it all assembled? Keep in mind, that is going to be a little bit more expensive. What is the not necessary is going to be assembling your own kits. You can actually get real deep into it where you're getting the raw lumber, you're cutting it your own, you're getting all that stuff. And if you really love lumber, woodworking, awesome, go for it. But there is a middle ground. You can get onto online sites, you can get onto other locations where you can actually purchase pre-cut materials that have not been assembled yet and you can order them as kits. What this does is this allows you to purchase frames that are already pre-cut. So all you got to do is take the frame sides, put them together, put your wax foundation or your plastic foundation in tack on a couple of nails and you've got a frame. You've got your supers that are, the wood's already cut. All you gotta do is take some clamps, put the clamps together, put in your screws or nails, assemble it together. If you so choose that you wanna winterize it, go ahead to add your linseed oil, your paint, whatever it is that you wanted to help weatherize the outside of the box, go ahead and add it. You can do those things if you start dealing with hives on bulk, meaning I would recommend saying four hives or more, where you're starting to get 20, 30 plus boxes. You're starting to get hundreds of frames all over the place. Pre-assembled, pre-manufactured items can get real expensive real quick. By purchasing these items as a um, a kit that you assemble yourself that can make the overall beekeeping experience potentially for you a little bit more enjoyable and a little bit cheaper when you're starting to deal in bulk. The next item that I would recommend when you're starting to get into beekeeping is kind of going along with that is building materials. If you want there are different places that you can go to source materials. You can go to Man Lake Bees, you can get these other locations that have pre-assembled kits. Or, if you want to be a hardcore, original beekeeper that does everything from scratch, there is that as well. I've got a uh, one of my old mentors with beekeeping. He was an old school, needy gritty guy. He did not like anything manufactured. He wanted to source everything himself. So, that's what he did. He had lumber, he would build his own frames, he would rip his own boards on a table saw, he would plane everything, make everything really nice and neat. Then he would do the outline of the frames, he would drill holes, he would put in eye outlets into the frames, he would go ahead and string fishing wire across the entire frame, he would use a frame uh, wax and better and he would embed the wax into the frame so it would support it and he would construct everything himself 
Me personally, I think that's a little bit overboard and I don't have the time nor the inclination nor the amount of frames that I deal with to do all that. I've got modern technology, so I'm gonna go ahead and utilize it. I personally, with most of my hives, utilize plastic foundation or wax foundation that has that already has been embedded as a part of it. But if you like to, by all means, go for it. Use the fishing line, use the eye outlets, all that information that was very commonplace 30, 40 years ago that has kind of fallen out of favor now. If you really want to do it as a side hobby to kind of learn about the history of beekeeping and the antique way of really knowing where did we come from versus where we are now, by all means, go for it. It is a great and wonderful, rewarding thing. I did it with my mentor when I was first learning how to kind of do these things, but as I've gone along, I decided not to continue the practice in my own hives, but it's definitely worth looking at it as you learn more. The third item that I've got on this list that I find that is necessary versus not has to deal with education. But aside from others tools, building your hives versus pre-assembled versus doing the eyelets, what's your thoughts? Let us know in the comments before. Is that something that you want to get into that you just want to get and learn all aspects of the beekeeping in the construction realm of the housing shelter? Or, you know what? Not worth my time. I'll spend a few extra bucks and I'll get the pre-manufactured things just to make my life simpler. What's your thoughts in the comments below? Go ahead and let us know. Is there some things we missed on this list? Are there some things that we could have added dealing with this discussion of shelter and kind of building the frames? Let us know. Now, as I mentioned or hinted before, the thing that I add to every single one of these lists, education, education, education. Learn as much as you can. Go down to your local library, rent some books, purchase books, lead material online. Whatever you can do to gain as much information as possible, the more information you know that you can reference, whether it's in books, online, or just even in your own mind, it's going to make you a much more successful beekeeper. And in the long run, it's going to save you a tremendous amount of money because you're not making mistakes that you would have made otherwise had you not had that information in the first place. Learn as much as possible. Once again, thanks for joining us. We are so glad to have you here today. If you like what we're doing, don't forget to subscribe, click on that bell for notifications, and we look forward to seeing you next time.